Green hydrogen is hailed as one of the key components for the sustainable energy mix of the future due to its abundance and cleanliness. However, there is a significant but unnoticed issue. It is a gas having a low energy density per volume. This makes its operation, storage, and transportation challenging and costly. But what if we had an inexpensive way to store hydrogen as a solid? It's possible that a startup has a reliable technology that might hasten the energy transition. For heavy-duty e-mobility applications including buses, trucks, trains, and ships, hydrogen is a crucial fuel source. This is due to the fact that these large-scale vehicles need more energy than batteries currently have available. But as long as hydrogen is available, a fuel cell doesn't need to be recharged like a battery. Compared to batteries, fuel cell electric vehicles have a greater driving range and require less time to refill. One problem with hydrogen fuel cell cars is the challenge of securely and affordably storing a large amount of hydrogen on board. High-pressure storage containers are necessary for storing hydrogen as the gas, but they are also more expensive and dangerous to maintain. As an alternative, you may compress it and make it liquid. However, hydrogen begins to boil off around minus 252.8 degrees Celsius or minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit. However, if we store it as a solid, we would be able to pack more hydrogen into a compact space than storing its liquid phase. Additionally, this method would be less expensive because it wouldn't require high pressure or freezing temperatures. This would be a low-cost method of extending the range of hydrogen-powered electric vehicles, allowing them to compete with fossil-fueled vehicles and perhaps even battery-powered ones. This is the reason why solid-state hydrogen storage applications have been the subject of extensive research. To achieve this, we can bind hydrogen to a metallic compound in a process known as adsorption. In this instance, the hydrogen atoms penetrate the surface and attach to the absorbent's internal structure. You end up with what is known as a metal hydride. A startup called Plasma Kinetics has developed a slightly different approach, though. This is a 3 prom zero carbon technology that performs numerous tasks, including capture, storage, and distribution as advertised on their website. Compared to a lithium-ion battery, hydrogen has a higher energy capacity and lower cost. A five-minute recharge time is possible with this tech. Back in 2009, Plasma Kinetics introduced their light activated energy storage technology to the U.S. Department of Energy, who first defined it as transformational. However, they then changed their opinion a little while later to call it disruptive. Apparently, their tech provides an energy source that falls under the U.S. national security umbrella. For that reason, the U.S. government restricted Plasma Kinetics' patent until 2017, which slowed down their progress. The company received explosive news when they found out that their business activity was limited by the international traffic and arms regulations. In other words, they can't sell their tech for missile fuel applications, which was the target anyway. At atmospheric pressure and room temperature, a nanophotonic filter created by plasma kinetics traps hydrogen onto a graphite-based internal structure. The system could directly harvest metric tons per day of 99.99% pure hydrogen from smokestacks and gas streams and solidify it. The substance that was used appears to hold the key to this incredible invention. An alloy with several layers of shape memory, or SMA, fundamentally retains its original shape after being altered. Typically, you can form this material at a low temperature and then heat it to restore it to its previous shape. SMAs are simply a combination of two metallic compounds like nickel and titanium, despite sounding like plastic. Mechanical actuators and medical stents are two typical examples of SMA uses. Regarding the SMA from plasma kinetics, it contains magnesium. The material used by plants to carry out photosynthesis, chlorophyll, is made primarily of this alkaline earth metal. The company's substance interacts with light because of this. This is the main property that differentiates the light-activated metal hydrides and conventional metal hydrides. The second class of materials, which attach hydrogen atoms to their solid framework through reversible absorption, must be heated to up to 200 degrees Celsius or 392 Fahrenheit in order to release the hydrogen. The company has compared their product to a CD player or movie projector. The hydrogen-filled film, whether it be in a cassette, canister, or disc, only needs to be exposed to laser light in order to release the trapped hydrogen. Positively charged hydrogen atoms are drawn to negatively charged spots within the film's nanopores during the absorption cycle. The hydrogen atoms are released when a laser strikes the film because of the material's photoactivity, which causes the light to change the bond's polarity from negative to positive. 
Hydrogen is currently produced through energy and carbon intensive techniques like electrolysis or natural gas reforming. Because of this, the zero carbon capture technology from plasma kinetics might significantly reduce the environmental impact of producing hydrogen. The company wants to accelerate the adoption of large hydrogen powered mobility applications, including boats, trucks, and electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, by offering a more durable yet lighter energy storage. While battery electric vehicles are more likely to take off than hydrogen powered ones, it doesn't need specialized safety storage like hydrogen gas canisters. Once it's empty, you return it and swap it for a fully charged one. The actual cartridge swap in the vehicle would take just a few minutes. The decarbonization of energy grids would be another significant business area. This is due to the technology from plasma kinetics ability to make green hydrogen even greener. The excess hydrogen produced by electrolysis driven by renewable resources would be stored in the company's solution. A portion of the green hydrogen might be kept in storage without needing to be compressed or liquefied. Depending on demand, the clean hydrogen can then be fed into fuel cells to be converted back into green electricity. This would fill in the gaps in the clean energy supply on overcast days or when the wind isn't blowing, making our grid more adaptable and resilient to the intermittent nature of renewable energy. The film containing canisters can be put together anywhere including next to a wind farm because of their adaptability. They could serve as low-cost backup storage for remote communities or function as a mobile microgrid for rescue operations. Although capture and storage seem quite promising, what about the distribution of hydrogen? Safety is one of the biggest benefits of the plasma kinetic storage system when it comes to distribution because the hydrogen is transported in an inflammable form. This indicates that there are no constraints on how it can be transported. However, the revolutionary feature of this insightful hydrogen trap is that the compressed gas may be distributed without the use of elaborate and expensive infrastructure like pumping stations and pipes. And from a stable disk to a sizable hydrogen library, the technology is likewise easily expandable. According to the business pitch deck, they can transport 20,000 tons of hydrogen securely in a single voyage by packing their containers onto a single ship that would supply 25,000 homes with electricity for a year. In comparison to lithium-ion batteries, light-activated hydrides appear to be completely obfuscated. In addition to having a better energy density, Plasma Kinetics claims that for the same amount of energy stored, its technology is 30% lighter and 17% less expensive than lithium-ion batteries. The light-activated storage unit, on the other hand, has an efficiency of up to 70%, which is somewhat lower than high-capacity batteries, which range from 70% to 90%. Its competition with compressed gas systems is more fierce. The solid-state hydrogen containers are significantly simpler and safer to handle than compressed gas vessels, although being slightly heavier than carbon fiber tanks at about 700 bar or 10,000 psi. Additionally, whereas plasma kinetic design uses materials with a lower energy cost than highly pressured storage, it has a lower energy density. According to business calculations, employing one of their light-activated hydrogen trucks rather than a compressed hydrogen-powered vehicle would result in fuel savings of 20,000 euros per year. This is due to compressed hydrogen being 50% more expensive per kilowatt hour than solid-state hydrogen. In addition, a compressed gas hydrogen truck would require refueling infrastructure costing 2.3 million euros per station, unlike the plasma kinetics technology. The main disadvantage, according to the founder of the business, is that you can't simply plug your car in at home and recharge it like you would with a standard battery electric vehicles. This is due to the fact that before you can turn stored hydrogen into power, you must first feed it to a fuel cell. The film depletes, however, the cartridge or film can be used up to 150 times. Deuterium, the heavier twin of hydrogen, fills the material's nanopores and is the cause of this. But the discs are 100% recyclable, and you can even recover and sell the deuterium to cover the recycling costs. Hydrogen will play a key role in the energy transition, but will make the most out of it only with viable and efficient storage technologies. Solid-state systems like this seem to be the way forward and plasma kinetics putting its best step forward. If you like this video, hit the like button. Send us your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.